Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, where they discussed the historic brotherly relations between the two countries. His Majesty expressed pride in the deep rooted Bahraini Kuwaiti relations and the bilateral cooperation and coordination in all fields for the interest of the two people. His Majesty hailed the continuous brotherly support of Kuwait and its honorable historic stances towards Bahrain and its people in various fields. The two sides also discussed the regional and international developments and a number of topics of mutual interest. His Majesty the King wished Kuwait and its people further development and prosperity under the leadership of its Emir. The Kuwaiti Emir expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, amending the brotherly ties between or commending the brotherly ties between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa directed the Works Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning Minister and all Municipal Affairs Departments to verify the efficiency of the preparations in place to deal with the rain season. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of the municipality's communication centers to receive complaints regarding water pooling on roads and in neighborhoods. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also urged to continue the work of uh, verifying the maintenance of rain and water drainage networks and water water pumping stations and to ensure their effectiveness. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Ghalibiya Palace today the Chairman of KPMG International, Bill Thomas, on the occasion of the annual conference for the KPMG Partners in the Middle East and South Asia, which is held in the Kingdom this year, which, uh, which coincides with the 50th anniversary for the company in Bahrain. His Royal Highness affirmed that the government supports auditing and accounting companies based on its keenness to adopt international accounting standards, especially in light of the Kingdom's reputation as an important financial, banking and economic centre in the region. He highlighted the cooperation of the private sector and accounting companies with ministries and governmental bodies. His Royal Highness also noted the role played by KPMG International in the field of business support through its consultancy and economic reports. Welcoming the convening KPMG annual conference in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which reflects the Kingdom's leading position among international specialized institutions. He also highlighted the importance of such international conferences to achieve more partnerships and exchange of experience in the field of accounting and financial auditing. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised Bahrain's financial and accounting capabilities, which had a significant contribution to enhancing Bahrain's financial position. For his part, Chairman of the KPMG International expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his support to international companies, praising his efforts in developing the Kingdom's economy. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Honorary President of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, BMMAF, and Chairman of the High Organizing Committee of Brave International Combat Week, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited Khalifa Sports City. In the presence of the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and the Bahrain Olympic Committee, BOC, Abdurrahman Sadiq Askar. BOC member, BMMAF President and Chairman of the Executive Committee of Brave Khalid Abdelaziz Al Khayyat, the President of the International Federation of Mixed Martial Arts (IMMAF), Kenneth Brown, the IMMAF CEO, Densine White, and members of the Executive Committee, the Brave Organizing Committee, and the IMMAF. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain has the ability and competence to host various events and world championships. His Highness expressed confidence in Bahrain's success in the Brave International Combat Week, which will be held in Bahrain under the patronage of His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. In collaboration and partnership with the IMMAF and Brave Combat Federation, the 5th edition of the Amateur World Championship and the 18th edition of the Brave Championship will be held from November 11th to the 18th at Ad Khalifa Sports City, which will enhance the advanced position of the kingdom in the global level in the MMA sport. During the visit, His Highness toured the stadium to view the preparations for the championship. He visited the accompanying exhibition and was briefed by Al Khayyat on the final preparations reached by the executive committee for the preparation of the championship. 
Sheikh Khalid stated that Bahrain has impressed the world during its hosting and organizing of the International Brave Week last year. He added that today, the kingdom is on the brink of a new start for the biggest sporting event in Asia, expressing aspirations to continue achieving success in the MMA sport through this event. He hailed the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Nasser, the cooperation of officials and civil institutions, and the support of private organizations to hold the championships, competitions, and events. He expressed confidence in the president and members of the executive committee and all those working to promote the event. His Highness Sheikh Khalid received a commemorative gift from Khalid Al Khayyat. The BDF commander in chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalid Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, visited today the Royal Command Staff and National Defense College, where he was received by the Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr al Naimi, and a number of BDF senior officers. The BDF commander in chief was briefed on the implementation of developmental programs and plans for the college. He also chaired the meeting of the Supreme Council of the college, in which he affirmed that the march of Bahrain's Defense Force continues to develop under the support of his Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which resulted in many achievements at the administrative and combat levels. He noted the important role of the Royal College in the field of military education, which aims at developing the officers' skills in various areas, wishing them all success. اللي تقوم بهذه الحرب بعضها إعلامي وبعضها قانوني وهذا تحتاج إلى نوع من البحث أيضا وال يعني ضوابط والتعليمات مساعدة للقائد أو ضابط الركن في حالة تنفيذ هذا النوع من العمليات ففي الحروب هذه الغير نظامية المجموعات البشرية اللي تعامل معهم الإنسان لازم ضابط الركن أو القائد يعرف وين يرسم هذا الخط بين المقاتل الجندي النظامي والضابط فهذا النوع من التشريع إذا إن شاء الله يعني اكتمل في قواتنا المسلحة في دول مجلس التعاون بيساعدنا إحنا في يعني يمكن مرونة العمليات العسكرية في التعامل مع التهديد الناحية الثانية الناحية العلامية الناحية العلامية أيضا تحتاج إلى نوع من إعادة النظر في طريقة التعامل مع الإعلام يعني الإعلام العسكري لازم يكون أقوى شوي في الميدان ما نعتمد على الإعلام المدني مثل ما هو مغطي الآن الأحداث وصول المعلومة أحيانا إلى الرأي العام العالمي دائما إذا تلاحظونها يوصلونها بالغلط يخلون احنا قواتنا احنا اللي غلطنا وهم اللي غلطانين فالجانب الاعلامي ايضا مهم الجانب الاعلامي العسكري لازم يكون بمستوى احترافي يوصل وينقل الصوره الصحيحه مو هو للمواطنين اللي فقط اللي موجودين لا حتى الى اهالي العسكريين والى العالم الاخر يعني وسائل الإعلام اليوم في الأخبار وسائل التواصل الاجتماعية أحيانا توصل الخبر قبل لا تطلع فيه بيان كعسكري فلازم يكون الإعلام العسكري يسبق ذي المجموعة ما هو ما يأخذ إلا الخبر واصل والله بلاده قبل وهو يمكن مصاب ويدرون عنه هلا أيضا وهو ما طلع في خبر من الإعلام العسكري فالجانب الإعلامي أيضا اليوم مع هذا الأسلوب الحديث في الحروب إن كانت غير نظامية أو حروب نظامية بس أغلبها يعني اليوم إن شاء الله يعني هذه الدروس في دروس كثيرة مستفادة من هذه النوع من الحروب بس أنا ركزت على هذه النقطتين أنا متأكد أن الإخوان ناقشوها وهذا العسكري لازم يستعد له بكل الوسائل إن كان في التدريب أو مثل ما ذكروا الأخوان في تجهيز القوات أو في النواحي القانونية أو في النواحي الإعلامية أو النفسية يعني في أي مجال 
الانسان يحضر نفسه للدخول في هذا النوع من الحروب فاتمنى ان شاء الله بحوثكم انها تستمر The Minister of Interior, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received today the Deputy Minister of Interior of Kosovo, Abdul Salam Shkudura, and the accompanying delegation in the presence of the Chief of the Public Security, Security Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan, the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Interior, Sheikh Nasser bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, and Charge de Affairs of the Embassy of Kosovo in the United Arab Emirates, accredited the Kingdom of Bahrain, Mir Hamdi, the, the Minister, welcomed the Kosovo Deputy. Minister of Interior and the accompanying delegation noting the importance of the visit in enhancing communication and exchanging views. The minister asserted the importance of cooperation and coordination and exchanging expertise in the field of security. The Minister of Interior briefed the Kosovo Deputy Minister of Interior on the efforts of the Ministry of Interior to maintain security and safety of all citizen residents. The two sides reviewed the bilateral relations, especially in the field of policing, exchange of expertise and combating crime of various kinds. The meeting was attended by the Director General of the Anti-Corruption and Economic and Electronic Security. The Supreme Islamic Affairs Council, the SCIA, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa over the official launch of the King Hamad Chair in Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence in Sapienza University in Rome, Italy. The Council convened yesterday, chaired by the President of the Supreme Council of Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The Council pointed out that the launch of the chair confirms the leading civilizational role of His Majesty the King and the Kingdom of Bahrain in promoting Islamic and Arab values of dialogue and peaceful coexistence as the basis for robust and cohesive peaceful and loving communities in prevalence or in prevalent security and stability. The Council also commended the outcomes of the Government Forum 2018 held last week under the auspices of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa upon the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stressing that such forms promote the values of cooperation and synergy in national work, encouraging further efforts in the service of the Kingdom and its people as well as accelerating the momentum of national development in harmony with the reforms initiated and led by His Majesty the King. The Council urged all citizens to effectively participate on November 24th in the ni nationwide uh, municipal and parliamentary elections by turning out to the polling stations and casting their ballots by choosing the best, honest and most efficient representative to contribute in the nation's progress and serve the citizens' welfare. The Council noted the large candidacy numbers that confirm the keenness on Bahrain's successful democratic experience and its enrichment. The Council called on the candidates to uphold the noble moral ethics, religious principles and patriotic spirits, safeguard our strong nation, national unity and social bonds by avoiding agitation while campaigning. The Bahrain Institute for Political Development, BIPD, has launched an application for smartphones to be the first platform for social communication between voters and candidates, which can be downloaded through one of the websites and provides services to both voters and candidates for the parliamentary and municipal elections. BIPD's acting executive director Anwar Ahmed stressed that this innovative initiative aims at building an electronic meeting place for voters and candidates by entering the application. The voter can see all the news for the candidates and the more interaction the user has the stronger the chance he has to win prizes after the election. The application is divided into two sections, the first for voters and the second for candidates, and aims to increase the electoral awareness and encourage voters to interact and support the electoral process. <laughs> 